Hi everyone, at the request of a recent viewer, I'll be starting my next videos with brief on-camera introductions. So today I'll be showing you all how to connect to BBSs with my new Amstrad NC100 portable Z80 powered computer. This has a built-in serial terminal program and also a serial port you can see here up on top. But I won't be connecting to the BBS through a modem or directly through the NC100. I'm going to use a Linux laptop as a proxy and a program called TCP SER, which emulates a haze modem over the serial port and also enables TCP IP connections over serial. You can type in a command like ATDT and then a Telnet server name right afterwards to connect to a BBS. It's a great tool, a great way to emulate a modem and replace it with any kind of Linux computer. I even have this tiny router running OpenWRT. That will be the topic of a future video which runs TCP there beautifully. And with that, let's have some fun. Okay, so the first step to connecting to BBSs with NC100 is to set up this TCP SER program in Linux. You're looking at the help output in the command line on the top part of the screen and then the parameters we're going to use on the bottom. I've set the device to dev TTY USB 0 for my FTD FDTI USB serial adapter and the baud rate to 9600 as it's set on the NC100. Interestingly enough, I don't have to bother with hardware handshaking and I've turned off hardware handshaking on the Amstrad and everything's been fine with my connection. I have heard in the past that in order to have a proper serial connection with the NC100 you have to tie RTS to CTS, but that hasn't been the case for me or my no modem adapter is, is very good and happens to do that for me. Now with that shown, I'll switch to the Amstrad screen and show you how I get set up there. Alrighty, now I'll switch to the NC100 side of things. I'm in the main menu now to get to the serial terminal program. I'll press yellow function and then S. Now we can see we're in the serial terminal program. Before starting my interaction with TCP SER, I'll press the secret menu button down here and look at the configuration. I'll skip the printer configuration and go down to serial. 9600 baud, 8 data bits and 1 stop bit, no parity, and handshake, I can't tell whether it's software or hardware is off. I imagine that software, since I've heard again that you need hardware handshake lines connected. And I haven't had had any problems with this. I imagine my null modem adapter, you can see an orange up there, must just be a really good one. But again, that could be either hardware handshake or software handshake. I'm guessing it's software flow control. Now with that said, I'll click stop and then go ahead and enter in TCP SER commands. Now remember this acts like a haze modem See, I type in AT, I get back OK. So I'll type in ATDT and then the host name of the BBS to which I want to connect. BBS.fostex.com. Okay, connected at 9600 baud, and there's the opening screen of the level 29 BBS. So I'll log in. by 16. Now this is 80 by 8. Okay, it's a dumb terminal ASCII. And we're in. Welcome to the official BBS of RetroBattleStations.com. And you can see since I've configured the display to, be, to match the NC100's display, I get a prompt for a key to move from, through um, screens that fit the display. There 
Okay, let's post a message. Alrighty, so I'll go ahead and look through that message and make sure I didn't have any egregious typos. Okay, let's list that message. Alright. Save. Quit the editor. Let's view that message again. And let's see that message in the list. Message 3902. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope that's helpful to any NC100 or NTS Dreamwriter 225 um, owners out there. Please stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I'll have one video about using CPM on the NC100. I plan to get ZCN installed on this. And in the future, I plan to have a Pygmy 4th tutorial as well as a video on my small Linux-powered RAV Power File Hub Plus as well as my HP 100 and 200 LX. Thanks for subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave likes and comments down below. And once again, thank you all for watching.